Let's talk about some Halloween Ends updates, as well as a brand new Jeepers Creepers Reborn update. Let's get into all of that. Well, sometimes, that is better. Hey everybody, what's up? Killjoy Jake here, and instead of having friends, I have horror movies. Today we're talking a little bit about Jeepers Creepers Reborn, but then mostly we're going to get into a Halloween Ends update, specifically coming from Jamie Lee Curtis, stuff from her Instagram page, as well as an interview with Access Hollywood. We're going to talk about all of that, but first I'm going to need you all to like this video and subscribe for more horror content in the future. Also, it would make this little guy super happy. <laughs> a little happy tear. And no worries, there will be chapters on this video, so if you don't care about the Jeepers Creepers stuff, well... You can just skip ahead. How fun is that? Getting into this Jeepers Creepers Reborn update though, I wasn't gonna make a whole video on this because it's literally just this Blu-ray cover I wanted to discuss a little bit, which is just, man, it, it's given me some thoughts on this new movie. So first thing I wanna get out of the way is at the very bottom of this Blu-ray cover, it says, Evil Rides Again. Sounds awfully familiar to something that's going on in the old Halloween franchise, don't you think? Now you see why I grouped this in with the Halloween stuff, huh? It all makes sense now. What, is Tommy Doyle gonna run out in Jeepers Creepers Reborn and start saying that? Evil rides again! I just feel like with all the controversy that Evil Dies Tonight amassed last year, you'd think they would just be done with slogans that kind of sound like that? Like anything with evil at the front of it, or evil doing something specifically on, you know, a certain day, tonight, or again? <laughs> you, you think that they would maybe just like not do that because it's just so hard not to make that comparison at this at this point but the big thing i wanted to point out here was the creepers design this time around which i'm still just not the biggest fan of i know some people like it and some people aren't really bothered by it it looks super similar to the jonathan breck version of the creeper but there's just one little change that i don't love the creepers like little like eye flaps right here like they just because they're here it makes it look like he has droopier eyes which makes for a less scary creeper in my opinion he looks like way less menacing and more like that droopy dog from those old cartoons like look at this original design for the creeper because you have the flaps go all the way down his face it doesn't look like his eyes are droopy there he just looks like really menacing and disgusting but like in this picture he kind of looks like somebody's dad and I, I don't know it's just not as menacing to me as the old design so I may not love the design but I have to admit it is pretty hilarious to watch some guy on YouTube complain about eye flaps I mean come on that's pretty funny you got to be able to laugh at yourself that's like rule number one in entertainment I'm super excited for Jeepers Creepers Reborn, though, and I will have a review for that on Tuesday, the 20th of this month. I'm seeing the movie in, like, a week, too, which I'm really excited. I've been covering this for, like, over a year, and honestly, it's something I've been wanting to see since my childhood. I saw Jeepers Creepers 2 at a really young age, probably way too young, actually. It scared the hell out of me. Ever since then, I've been wanting to see that continuation to that cliffhanger that we've been left on ever since the early thousands. So keeping my fingers crossed, hopefully it's good. But getting into a Halloween Ends update, Jamie Lee Curtis has just posted the Halloween Ends themed cover for Total Film Magazine coming out this month on September 15th. The tagline for this post reads, A killer finale, your first look at our Halloween Ends Total Film cover on shelves September 15th. With both of these magazine covers though, I find it very interesting that on the front page, we have Laurie Strode holding the knife back to back with Michael Myers, her enemy. I don't think that this is a scene in the movie, let me tell you. Don't think they're gonna go back to back and do like a little 80s music video pose or or whatever but hey maybe i can be surprised but then in the next post and what i can only assume is an alternate cover to total film magazine for at least this month we can see michael now with the knife in hand and no laurie strode in the picture so this cover does kind of beg the question is this just fun advertising with nothing else to look deeper into or is this teasing a victory for michael myers here i will note that the marketing has been kind of both ways on this there's some stuff like that laurie strode video where she's kind of talking about this is my final movie and all that it does kind of seem like oh maybe laurie's gonna get a victory because this is her last time the last time jamie lee curtis is playing the character and it seems very hopeful and uplifting but then we see things like this where it's like clearly teasing uh ooh, maybe michael wins out here and kills laurie strode for the final fight i personally think that's brilliant marketing i don't want them to give us like a definite oh hey this could happen you know i don't want them to throw us around both ways one or the other i don't want one way or the other to feel a little more significant this balance that we have right now kind of teasing both outcomes is pretty nice and then we also have this interview with Jamie Lee Curtis where she kind of talks about her future with the franchise. I'll let Jamie explain that herself though. Halloween out Ends is coming out so soon. Is this really the end? Is this going to be really the end of this amazing movie series? Well, I can't determine if it's the end of the movie series. It's the end of the movie series for me. I can't imagine another trilogy being pitched to me like, hey, now this happens. I mean, this really feels like it took from the first movie and now three movies later, 
we've answered all those questions. She talks about how this new timeline has answered a lot of questions, but I kind of don't see that. I, I think what's been so cool about these past movies is that they haven't answered a lot of questions, actually, where past timelines have kind of gone overboard with that. But the more interesting thing about this interview that she says earlier on is that she's kind of done with the franchise. This is the end of it for her. This obviously isn't big news. We've already been speculating in the past that this would probably be the last movie for Jamie Lee Curtis. But once again, is she also teasing a Michael victory here? Does Michael kill her in the end? And are we going to be okay with that as fans? I think that there's a way to do this properly, where it could be a satisfying ending. I mean, were we really expecting a happy ending from Halloween Ends after all? I mean, this has been a pretty dark timeline for this franchise especially. In Halloween 2018, we see Laurie Strode 40 years after the events of the original Halloween still traumatized by that night. Michael Myers not only ended the life of many young kids that night, but he also ruined Laurie Strode's life in the process. And then in the events of the two movies we've already seen, I mean, we have just seen Laurie Strode get like a bunch of family members taken away from her from Michael and just all this awful shit. She She's in the hospital for all of Halloween Kills, trying to get stitched up. She's trying to get out to fight Michael, but she's just way too weak to even do that. Lori's been on the struggle bus this entire timeline, so like, I really don't know if it's going to end out all positive for her. The other end of that coin, though, is to do something really unexpected and give us a Lori victory. After all this time of having her, like, get the shit kicked out of her, essentially, she finally comes out on top after all of that struggle. So it's kind of an option of, do you want something that's more realistic or something that's more satisfying, essentially? I feel like we're gonna get something that's a bit more in the middle and more bittersweet personally where maybe yes Laurie Strode does live but her entire family dies like imagine if Allison dies right in front of Laurie and she has lost all of her family that she was been struggling to reconnect with throughout this entire timeline even if she does come out on top and beats Michael in the end it's still not really a happy ending she's lost all the people that she loves more than anything I just want a more intimate film this time around we had so many characters in Halloween kills it was like impossible to keep track of everything that was going on. I hope that Halloween Ends is a much more intimate film with our mainstay characters here like Hawkins, Lindsay Wallace, Allison, and of course, Laurie and Michael. So to have their showdown happen maybe after all of these other characters have died, I think would be pretty interesting to watch and would make for a very fun and bittersweet ending. I say fun in the terms of like dark humor, by the way. Obviously, watching your entire family die over the course of four years is not fun, but from a, from a viewer's standpoint, I mean, it's a little interesting. Call me fucked up because I know I am. But what are you guys expecting from the outcome here? Do you want something more realistic or more satisfying, I guess? Leave me something about it in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this brand new Halloween Ends update. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more horror content. Also, if you want to support this page further, you can become a Patreon supporter or a channel member by clicking that join button on my page. Thank you guys so much for watching this video again. And as always, don't forget to kill it out there, y'all.